share Sunny Studios 2024 release. Up first, we have our brand new scallop square dies. Um, these are similar in style to our previously released um, scallop circles and our scalloped ovals. Um, the smaller size measures on the half inch, so you have four and a half, three and a half, two and a half, and one and a half inches. And then the uh, large version measures on the one inch, so you have the five, four, three, and two inch scallop squares. And this is um, our scallop square one, small and large. And then we have the same um, sizes in the scalloped um, square two. Sm um, those numbers correlate with the um, one and two for the ovals and the circles. And then we also have our stitched um, square dies to match. So um, as you can see here, one square die complements all of the other scallop dies. So I'm going to layer these here to show you how they were designed to fit over. I'll use the um, scallop square one dies as an example. So every other one works on um, each of the sets. So just quickly layering them here for you. So um, they're really great interchangeable. They make great card bases and um, fun mats. I have loved the stitched um, squares. As you'll see, I made a lot of um, fun um, repeated patchwork backgrounds for some of these cards here. So up next is our brand new um, Punny Fruit greeting stamps. And this set comes with um, a ton of different mix and match greetings. To maximize the space here, I put all of the um, Punny um, Fruit words at the bottom and then um, all the smaller greetings. We have an example on our blog to see all the different choices you can make. So for this fruit card, I used all of our brand new fruit dies. We have um, seven new um, dies that mix and match, including a bowl and um, the watermelon there with our um, strawberries, um, the strawberry patch, the um, little cherries there called wild cherry. Um, and the citrus slices and lemon and lime from our fresh lemon dyes. And then I added a stitch along the bottom there using our uh, ribbon and lace border dies and then added that fun rainbow um, gingham print from our rainbow bright paper pack. And then the greeting there is from our new punny um, fruit greetings. Here we have our brand new um, fresh lemon dies, which comes with um, the two pieces there to layer together for the um, citrus slices. You've got the outside ring and the interior ring. You can do the lighter and darker color there. And then I use the medium tone there for the um, piece with the embossing. And you have some leaves and some stems, little drip mark there, and a little happy face that you can put on your um, little lemon and limes. Here I have a bowl of lemons, um, lemon tell you, and uh, like let me tell you, and uh, I just realized I need some glue there on the bottom. And uh, I created this patchwork background there using the stitch square dies, um, the one inch size I believe. Um, and then um, I just created, uh, found the center point and uh, put the square there in the center and ran the rows up and down until I had my complete pattern and used one of our stitch circle dies there with the new buildable dies, which I'll be sharing soon and the little lemons inked up and a little scallop there from our ribbon and lace border dies. Gonna add some glue to that. And um, up next we have like, I'm glad you're my daughter. Instead, lime glad you're my daughter. Um, to uh, I used the little citrus slices there as um, like a lime, a lemon, a grapefruit, and an orange to create my border around. And then um, I used the striped paper from our striped silly paper pack and added the new little border there to frame my limes with our new limitless layer, um, I'm sorry, limitless labels one dies. For my next card, I created um, like a lemon tree branch using the branch from our out on a limb dies um, together there with some wood grain um, card stock. And then added all the little leaves and um, stems and lemons from our fresh lemon dies. Um, added the little stitching on the top and the bottom again using our ribbon and lace border dies. Those are getting a lot of use. And then um, added the little gingham along the top and bottom using our background basic stamps. And then um, stamped You Are the Zest using the Punny Fruit Greetings onto a little pennant strip there from our notebook photo corners um, dies. 
And I just love how fresh and happy this card looks. Up next is a card um, using the also the fresh lemon, this time with a number of the um, scallop dies there, uh, the scallop one and two. Uh, um, to, I, I can't remember if it's small or large, I put it on the block along with the stitched um, squares and cut out from the pattern paper from our sleek stripes and then used it with the lemon paper on the outside from our um, retired uh, summer um, splash paper pack, which we still have in our store. Um, spelled out the word squeeze using our Haley alphabet lowercase um, dies to match with the sending you a big from um, the um, punny fruit greetings and I just love how sunny and happy this card turned out. I popped that up there with a little foam tape and it just these have such realistic texture. When life gives you lemons make lemonade. This card I used um, the background again with our sleek stripes paper pack and um, cut out the little uh, lemonade jar with some vellum and um, regular cardstock using um, the new summer jar mug. Um, Sorry here, I'm gonna switch gears and share that. So here's a closer look at the mug. Um, it comes with um, the interior piece that can um, cut out either a window or the lemonade, a little umbrella, um, the little uh, slices, citrus slices, which I added the stitch circle behind to make them larger to match my other um, citrus slices. Comes with the ice cubes, the um, little umbrella, the straw and then I paired it with some of the fresh lemons um, from our fresh lemons. I um, stamped that punny greeting um, from uh, the punny fruit greetings and uh, added the stitch label there from our limitless labels one die and added the scallop edge there with our um, I believe that was from the ribbons and lace also. Switching gears now we have our strawberry patch dies which come with two different size strawberries um, both uh, the background and the top layer or you can use them uh, alone and then it comes with three different little toppers for the tops of your strawberries um, little uh, centers to the two uh, flower blossoms and some little vines there and a trio of strawberry leaves. For my first card, I used all those different little elements to create a little grouping in the center, um, creating a scalloped card base with the new dies. Um, this is the number one version. I just scored along the top on um, my back piece um, and here them just above the score line there. And um, that created my little card base and uh, um, created the little grouping here with um, a stitch circle from our stitch circle one dies to match and then added a little banner. It should be saying you are the very best. Um, so please um, forgive my mistake there. Um, Add a little stripe background there with the sleek stripes and used our brilliant banner dies. Um, I just wanted to point out that yes, it does come with the word the. I was just a silly um, person who uh, didn't read what I was uh, stamping there and I didn't have it in me to go redo it. Up next, we have another strawberry card um, using the new uh, buildable um, dies, and this time to create like a basket for a strawberry basket. These dies um, here are buildable dies, which come with three or four different ways you can arrange them to create a bowl. You can either use just the outside shape um, with a little lip there, you can use these as little feet at the bottom, you can use the handles um, with the base for. Um, a colander. So here are two different ways that I've used them, both as a bowl and as a like a fruit basket. So for this card, um, I spelled out thank you very much using again the Haley um, alphabet lowercase dies there to spell out the word berry, even though it comes with the um, punny fruit greetings. I wanted something a little bit bigger to take center stage. Added little blossoms and leaves added a scallop edge there with our um, slimline basic border dies and then added the red gingham with our background basic stamps again. For my next card I have the strawberry lemonade card with the strawberries. Uh, here's an example of them side by side for the summer jar mug dies. Here I used the lemonade cut out to go underneath the vellum and for this card here I used it for the shaker card element so you can use it both ways. I paired it with the strawberry patch dies, um, this time in a fun pink color to match my umbrella there. 
and added the little um, citrus slices and the straw and umbrella added a scallop edge there again with our ribbon and lace um, dies and um, created the or added the pink striped paper from our sleek stripes to match and added my I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend greeting from our punny fruit greetings straightening up a little bit here and switching gears we now have our uh, new cherry stamps called wild cherry it comes with uh, a little grouping of two cherries and individual cherries that you can layer together um, the little four different leaves in different directions with the veining and um, some stems a little shiny mark to put in the corner of the cherry to make it look shiny like I did on this first card for this card um, it also uses the scalloped card base like I did on my strawberry card um, while I had my supplies out, I created a very similar look with the same circle die. Here you can see them side by side. So a little fun card set. These would make fun uh, card sets to make as gifts. I added the little polka dot parade there for my background and added a banner using this time the Brilliant um, 2 banner. The first one was the Brilliant 1 banner. And um, added the cherry there in the center with the punny greeting. For my second cherry card, I have um, kind of the same take as I did for my strawberries, this time with a colander, um, stamping my greeting on our limitless labels there with the punny greeting, um, wishing you a cherry happy birthday. Um, filled up my colander with some of the cherries in all different groupings um, and using that uh, just here showing all the different colander, the um, fruit basket, and bowl again. Those are the three main ways to use the buildable dies. And uh, switching gears, we have our new juicy watermelon dies, which come with all the pieces you need to create three different takes on um, watermelon. You can use the traditional seeds in the circle, um, semicircle. You can use the little hearts like I did for this card here. And then um, a third way is to actually uh, use just the outline, um, like the layering piece that you use to um, put all the other pieces onto. You can layer um, with, um, you can cut that from pink or red or whatever, and you can layer it with the rind on the outside, adding the little individual seeds to create a scattered um, random pattern. And then you can cut out um, Use the little bite there. There's a bite that you can use to um, that I'll be sharing on another card and a little drip mark for um, the juicy watermelon. For this card, it's Thanks a Melon. Once again, I made um, this card at the same time as my lemon card. Sorry, I'm going off screen here a little bit. I'm, I spelled out the word melon using our Haley Alphabet lowercase dies, used our new stitch square dies there with some of our gingham pastel paper. The outside was using, um, again, some paper from our Summer Splash um, paper pack, which we still have in store at the moment, and our new scallop square dies there, number two, which I backed with a little green paper to um, pick up the match in color. And completely switching gears now, we have um, our brand new uh, Big Panda set. So this is our third big animal following our... Um, holiday hugs and um, our big bunny. So we have a um, little panda that has the separate arms in the set for uh, cutting out his arms individually if you'd like. You can say hello summer, hello friend, hello there, happy summer, um, hello cutie. For accessories, it comes with uh, the cute little uh, coconut drink, a little lemonade cocktail of some sort, a hat to put on him or her. Uh, little sunglasses, the ukulele um, for them to hold, the little beach bag, a little flower to put on the ear, um, make a little uh, lay that I use. There's a the little S there for um, to spell friends if you want to put like summer friends for a scrapbook title or something. For my first card, I paired uh, the um, sentiment from um, and the bear in the background with from our um, panda party with uh, the little background there from our ocean view, the little beach and sun chair and umbrella. Added the little clouds um, both to the um, far background and the foreground from our fluffy clouds. And then added my little um, panda with the beach bag to match um, from 
our new um, Big Panda and used a rainbow stripe paper there to tie it all together from our rainbow bright paper pack and then added that little um, um, positive sentiment strip using our notebook photo corners. I had made a little boo-boo there and uh, wanted to cover it up and it ended up being a happy accident because I felt like it added a little weight to the, um, that side that had been more bare than the rest of my card. Just gave it a little extra balance. For my next card, I paired um, the Big Panda with our Big Bunny stamps, this time um, putting uh, a glass in each of their hands and putting them each in a pair of sunglasses. For the background, I added our Tiki Time stamps with a um, little Tiki Time hut, and I love how the glasses match um, in the background, and then added a little sandy hill there in the background from our slimline nature border dies and I just kind of envision it um, the ocean being in the background um, fading to the sky just um, real kind of blurry and um, out of focus and then I rounded my two bottom corners for this card this is the one using the juicy watermelon where I um, for my little panda um, created the uh, little bite out of it with all of the little individual um, seeds um, for the normal watermelon, I will say my tip is to just punch a little circle to um, back behind um, those watermelon out of black cardstock so you don't have to um, mess with uh, filling in all the little seeds. Um, I used our sleek striped paper to look like, um, like a watermelon rind for the background and um, used a little stitched rectangle there from our... Uh, I believe it came from our slimline um, scallop frame dies. I just love the um, really simplicity of this card, but it just has a real strong um, bright red and white and green color scheme. I just, I like it. Next up is the card where I used a little flower for um, to create a lay. I created a little handmade grass skirt there, um, just using some scissors or a paper trimmer to um, add the um, cuts and then um, cut a piece of green pattern paper from our summer splash paper pack using our new um, square dies there. Used both the scallop for, um, I used the one and the two, the um, one for the foreground and then I backed it with some little um, um, rainbow colored circles using my glue pen. I just um, punched out a bunch of little circles using a small circle paper punch and then I hit it using the um, scalloped um, one dies uh, to create my card base. And then I created a little lay there um, using that single flower from the stamp set, just repeatedly stamped them, added the little ukulele Add, stamped my greeting Hello Cutie onto one of our little speech bubbles from our comic strip speech bubble um, dies and kept the card fairly simple but I thought it was fun. For this card, um, this is one of the examples where I created a little patchwork background using scraps of cardstock with our scallop um, square dies here, the number one. And um, for the outer outside edge, I used our um, dots and stripes pastels paper pack. Um, I can't even begin to tell you all the ones I used inside though because I, I used a bunch of um, scraps I had on hand from a variety of collections which I've linked in the blog post but you can see here every time I cut a card base I save the extra piece that you would have for a, um, a two size card and those work great to piece together um, for either borders or little um, backgrounds like I've done here. For my banner, I stamped my greeting on our brilliant um, banner two dies and added the little smoothie and the hope you are having a sweet day um, greeting, which I heat embossed both from our summer sweet stamps. While we're talking about summer sweets, um, this card also uses the um, ice cream cone from summer sweets, all of the um, little um, summer sweets. Uh, are the perfect size for these bears and different critters to hold. Same with our um, um, fast food fun stamps and our breakfast puns. I um, created this repeated background on my background using our um, prints from the Dots and Stripes Pastels paper pack, which I added a stitching to the edge of each one using um, the die from the stitch die from our Slimline basic border dies. And then I just added a little banners using our brilliant banner one dies, um, heat embossing the congrat congratulations 
um, using a greeting from the um, um, Summer Sweets and then adding, I'm so happy for you using a greeting, I believe using our Feeling Froggy stamps and another set that I can't think of on the top of my mind, but we do have it linked on our blog. For this card, um, I or these next two cards, I created some uh, cards that don't use the bear that, but use all the fun elements from the set. Um, for the background, um, I added these four little uh, scallop squares with the stitch um, square dies, and then the background here was cut using a um, kind of a waves pattern from our um, summer splash paper pack. And then I use um, cut the little um, scalloped squares from our um, classic gingham paper pack. Added the little sunglasses and all the little elements um, from the set, and um, tried to balance out the hello there with um, nothing in that square by adding a couple of the flowers to give it some visual weight. Up next is a kind of a graduation card. Added some little glossy accents there on the glasses and popped up one. Um, pair in the center there uh, to add interest out of the stitched edge using our, um, I believe that one was our slimline basic border dies, adding your future so bright you've got to wear shades, combining our um, Chloe alphabet dies with our Kinsley alphabet stamps, added the word um, bright in rainbow colors to match the um, pattern paper strip there from our rainbow bright paper pack. Up next is our new Mermaid Kisses stamps. This set comes with four adorable mermaids and then some greetings, the Mermaid Kisses Starfish Wishes and um, the word swimming by to say hi. Um, you were mermaid to be awesome and celebrate your day. And uh, for the four mermaids, I um, they have the two standing and two sitting or laying down. One um, little um, kelp with rocks there, little piece of coral. All of these match our um, previously released uh, stamps. So we have the um, four new little fish, little crown for the mermaid to wear, um, little tiny seashell and star fish to put in their hair as like a bread, a, a number of bubbles, and of course a starfish to go with um, our greeting there the coordinated dies. Up first we have a card um, with three of the um, mermaids laying on their belly on the sh what I imagine the shore using um, pattern paper from our summer splash paper pack again. I got a lot of use out of that this um, release and um, I popped up our new limitless labels and I inked the edge there. I used the sunburst paper pack, um, our classic sunburst paper pack for the yellow sun rays. Added some craft foam there and heat embossed my greeting you, using You Were Mermaid to be awesome. And added the little seashells and the crown there to um, dress them up and um, individualize them. For this card here, I created a little mermaid theme using the little island and one of the um, larger or smaller trees from our tropical scene set. Used the little uh, larger palm tree there from our Sending Sunshine. Little crab comes from, I believe, our best fishes. And um, added the little mermaid and the fish from um, our new set with the greeting. And I created my background there um, using our fluffy cloud border dies, which um, I cut out um, with together with a piece of cardstock um, using some mylar so that it could punch through um, the mylar easier. And um, I use those to um, have something that I can repeatedly use um, to create these backgrounds. And then I used a couple of the little seagull dies from our um, tropical trees backdrop die and added a little scallop there. I believe the scallop is also from our ribbon and lace, but I can't remember if it's from that or our slimline pennants. They're somewhat similar. One has a dot and one has a stitch. Um, here I um, created my diagonal background on a larger scale um, than my um, other cards that I've shared. Um, this time adding a heavyweight vellum to the center. Um, I used a heavyweight so that it would um, not buckle as much when I heat embossed it with my greeting in the center there. Um, but I wanted it to be a little bit transparent so it didn't hide all of that um, background I had created and added my little mermaids from the set with a starfish um, from our new Mermaid Kisses. 
I um, just love using up my scraps this way and it's a fun, um, quick and easy background. Um, for this card, I used three of the mermaids, um, colored all my fish yellow to keep a co cohesive theme, added a bunch of little seashells and um, the rock that one of them is sitting on from our um, previous magical mermaid set that is retiring, but we still have in store. It also had that little kelp um, and uh, it mixes and matches with some of the kelp from um, the new set as well as with our older set from our fantastic friends added some bubbles there in the background and heat embossed my greeting and it was finished for this card with a vertical orientation um, i added the little banner there swimming by to say hi um, stamped onto our brilliant banner two dies um, flipped the other direction i um, inked up um, a little air area in the top corner to look like it was the sunlight was coming from the top of the ocean surface um, i added my little uh, um, coral and ocean pieces here from our ocean view stamps and um, added in the fish from the set and um, added in also a little starfish I believe that one might also be from our magical mermaids and um, added the coral from the new um, stamps together with um, the mermaids for this card I used the ocean floor uh, border from our tropical scene stamps um, to go with a background that I had inked up using one inch ink cubes, uh, distress ink cubes, and I just uh, spritzed it with water to help kind of blend it. However, it was quite intense with my background and all that white outline was um, really stark on the, the scene. So I ended up going back around um, each of the images with a Copic marker and making it kind of blend um, kind of blending from the turquoise to the blue um, and I love the results it didn't take that much extra time but it really helped um, make them uh, not stand out so badly with that white edge switching gears we have our new tropical bird stamps um, it comes with uh, three new varieties of birds um, a pair of each um, with slight variations so that you can um, kind of have them facing each other it comes with um, a nice um, vine tropical vine tree branch and four leaves and a d number of punny greetings like happy birthday um, two can do anything apparently it's your birthday a little toucan of my appreciation two can do it um, you're a rare bird you can just say all these fun different things and it also comes with the feet too um, so you can put the tail behind the tree branch and the feet on top and it comes with a number of um, little flowers you can put um, on their quote unquote hair or feathers to make them a girl or um, just decorate the tree branches with. For this card, I used all of the new birds together with um, the tree branches from our, you can see there I put the little feet on top and colored them in to match around them so that they kind of blended. Um, uh, my background was created um, actually again inking up the um, background this time my ink cubes were a little dry and I liked the streaky look so I didn't um, continue to coat, coat it and um, I added the little tree branches there from our tree branch die very creative name right and um, added the larger leaves from our out on a limb tree branch die also um, I just like the larger size um, for the tropical scene add the wood grain print uh, uh, little border there stitch border using our ribbon and lace border dies um, and cut out a little um, stitch circle from our um, stagger circle dies and add um, stamp the words you're a rare bird um, onto it here is a slimline card with a rainbow um, sort of um, feel colored the birds in rainbow colors um, to pair with the um, rainbow striped paper from our surprise party paper pack. Um, added the little stitched uh, rectangle from our slimline uh, scallop frame dies and uh, added two of the tree branches from the tropical trees, um, just flipping one um, upside down so that it could give it a little variety and hiding the seam with the yellow bird there in the center. And then I added um, a little birdie told me it's your birthday um, using a greeting that comes with our little birdie stamps. 
and then I just mounted it onto a piece of black cardstock and uh, added it onto a, added everything onto a white card base. Up next is an anniversary card creating a moon, which I um, distressed some paper. I'm using some uh, a variety of different distress inks to create kind of a textured moon look and then I cut it out using our stitch circle dies and then I once again added a tree branch using our tree branch dies together with a larger leaf from our out on a limb inking them up kind of a little more moody to give it like the feeling of the shadows and lights from the moon added a couple of the hearts from our basic um, shape dies in our store I believe that's the set number two and then I added um, the ink in the center behind the moon lighter and I got darker as I went towards the outer edges um, going all the way um, to like a chip sapphire and black, black soot on the outside and then I added um, the stars with a white gel pen um, and then I added the little banner there from our um, stitched rectangle dies and um, heat embossed the greeting happy anniversary using our happy thoughts stamp set and uh, I really, really like how this one turned out. It turned out to be one of my favorites. My daughter actually got to see some toucans in person and she got some gorgeous photos of them while she was in traveling around the world. Up next is um, an, another tree branch slash vine um, from our tropical scenes dies. And then I um, added some little leaves from the set and the toucans. And um, I also stamped some tropical leaves behind them directly onto my paper from our Radiant Plumera stamps and then add a little border along the bottom, a little rickrack um, zigzag edge from our um, Slimline Basic Border dies. And then I stamped um, Two Can Do Anything, heat embossed it onto a small little pennant strip from our notebook photo corner dies. I just enjoyed, really liked how all of the leaves came together on that one. Up next is a card using the tropical leaves from our summer greenery die. I cut them all from black cardstock. I created an inked up background using various distress inks that were inspired by a, back, um, a real sunset I found on Google. And then I cut all of my um, little tropical leaves out of black cardstock and used them to frame my little birds in the center. I added the stitched um, frame around them using our tropical um, trees backdrop die and added again the tree branch cut from black so that um, the only thing that pops is the two little parrots um, colored in green. And then I added the little greeting, apparently it's your birthday or apparently it's your birthday. And um, I really liked it. A lot of my backgrounds turned out to be um, green and I didn't want my little green parrots to blend in. So I decided they were perfect for this colorful sunset scene. Up next is um, a tropical light and airy card. This time I used the frame from our st um, stitch semicircle and then added the cloud background um, again using our fluffy cloud border dies added the little um, tree branch and the little birdies from our tropical birds and added in some of the little hibiscus flowers and added a little flower in my bird's um, hair, so to speak. Added the um, greeting alo aloha um, using uh, the Hawaiian hibiscus, which I also used for the flower in the foreground. And then again, um, the flowers and the leaves from our radiant plumera stamps. And I, I really like how that came out. Up next is a clean and simple card. Um, I started when I um, created that first card where I had the streaky background. Um, I decided to um, try again where I just kept inking it until it was solid. And um, then I went through and I stamped the um, leaf patterns in my background to create like a tone on tone um, overall background print using Versamark with the um, little leaves from the stamp set. And I just kept stamping until the whole thing was covered. And then I added a simple um, leaf and the two birds to um, perch in the center. Added a little party hat to my bird um, using our panda party, our party panda. Yeah, it's panda party. And um, added happy bird day um, onto a greeting um, with uh, the little um, speech bubble from our comic strip speech bubble stamps. And for our last um, new stamp set, we have a set called Beach Bus, and it comes with a little VW Bug inspired uh, van slash bus um, with the little um, 
surfboard, little uh, luggage rack with a little piece of three pieces or four pieces of luggage, and um, the little um, four little critters to be passengers, and a little silhouette of some palm trees. And you can say like happy summer, hello summer, summer greetings, sending summer vibes, enjoy summer. And uh, yeah, I love that it comes with a little um, dotted line to create the street for a repeated banner. You got both your side view and your front view. So you can do um, all sorts of scenes. For this first card, um, I started by using the palm trees from our tropical um, scenes and um, our sending sunshine again. Um, the tropical scenes um, dies come with a little um, like waves to tuck things in and so I used it um, here to tuck the surfboard in the sand um, piled my little van high with um, suitcases and added a sloth driver um, added three of the fluffy clouds from our tropical trees backdrop dies and added in some uh, ocean waves just uh, kind of adding some loose um, lines and waves with my Copic markers. And then I just freehand cut the sand um, and um, added the word summer greetings from the set. For my next card, I have a little uh, road trip. Again, I used the fluffy cloud dies from our tropical um, trees backdrop, added the little tree um, background from our country scenes put luggage on the car and um, filled up my van full of mice and um, added the words driving by to say hi, um, combining a couple different greetings. I I know driving came from the um, stamp set Truckloads of Love. I can't remember where um, by to say hi came from, but I linked that in our blog. I added the little puffs of snow, um, smoke using our plain awesome and um, um, heat embossed the little dotted line for my street. Um, I just love the idea of these little mice going off on a um, camping adventure or something in the summer. Up next is um, another card where I created the fluffy background using, uh, I'm sorry, the fluffy cloud um, border dye background with um, the palm trees and the um, beach umbrella and the ocean waves from our Ocean View stamp set. Um, I covered the little um, beach chair behind the um, car um, using the surfboard and the car and the little puppy dog. Um, to, the puppy dog comes from um, balloon rides, but I used those to cover that beach chair in the scene. And I added a different beach chair and the girl from our um, kitty pool set and then added the dog and the little piece of um, luggage and everything and the greeting, of course, in the center from the um, beach bus. Here's a very clean and simple card using the palm tree silhouettes and the outer frame from our Tropical Trees Backdrop die. comes with a stitched um, frame there. And um, I added the little stitched um, slope ground behind my car using the Slimline Nature Border dies. Um, I took inspiration from my background using um, the um, Google again for a sunset, added the little surfboard to the top of my car, and um, stamped the happy greetings from the set, added um, the cat and dog from the set, and the bunny and the bear come from our balloon rides again, and um, I spritzed up my background um, to have sort of a tie-dyed um, 60s look, which is really fun for this um, sort of retro vintage inspired card, and um, I just have to say I love a yellow um, van. I just think it's so fun. Up next is another retro inspired card, this time um, with the like 1960s, 70s um, rings. And um, I added uh, the, I inked them each in individual colors using a mask. And then I spritzed over it um, to kind of hide some boo-boos I made. And then um, I stamped my palm trees silhouettes in the background from the set and then added um, in the little frame and hills and such from again our um, tropical trees backdrop die and then I stamped the greeting and added my little car to the center from um, the beach bus adding some little yellow highlights to reflect the sun and then um, my little water uh, is reflecting the light in my sky I'm just using um, swooshes of color from my Copic markers to match and it actually didn't require that much skill which I love 
and then um, I added a little penny slider here. Um, I added too much foam tape so it doesn't slide um, very loosely. But um, for my backdrop here, I used the little um, mountains and trees from our country scenes and added some fir trees to the foreground using our seasonal tree dye, stamps and dyes. Oops, I need to glue that on better too. And a little pink luggage to the roof of my car, a little Barbie inspired um, luggage and um, car from uh, the beach bus and then added little critters um, the raccoon and the fox come from our truckloads of love and the little bear from um, the um, balloon rides but i just thought little outdoor critters are perfect for an outdoor scene and um yep my little st stiff slider <laughs> but it's fun. Um, I added some foam tape there um, to kind of add the channel. And our last new product of the day is our new Limitless Label One Dies, which come with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six new labels. Um, the smallest label is small enough to uh, fit onto uh, the little jar of our new summer jar mugs, which um, I should add that you can cut the handle right off the jar and make it even more versatile to uh, for all sorts of purposes. But here is an example of all the ways I used our limitless labels um, in the different sizes. Here for the mermaids is the largest size it comes in and then um, they get um, progressively smaller. And um, it would also make a great um, label if you wanted to make fun canning jar labels to um, put the fruit on each of them. But that is a look at our summer 2024 release. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I hope you'll give this video a like and um, join us on the blog. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.